Hello everyone, welcome to Halo Moon Tarot. This is your uh, weekly reading for Aries. How are you guys? Hope you're well. Thanks for dropping in. So Aries, if you're looking for a singles love reading, check out my playlist. Hopefully there's a message for you. I put them up every Monday. So if one doesn't resonate, maybe better luck next time. Aries, the overall energy surrounding you. This is a general reading. Take it as it resonates and can be any aspect of your life. Aries, what does Aries need to know? Aries, Oops, there's something there. Okay, so you're just kind of going with the flow here. Okay, so something is done. Things are starting to move. Beautiful. Yeah. Oh, yeah. So I see an energy of reaching out. You may have somebody here who's reaching out. It's possible. Okay. Uh, I do see possibility of three people. So you may have people reaching out, friends or family, talking to you. I think it's just going with the flow, like the conversation. Something is flowing here. Aries. And we have coming together, yeah. You may have someone you're coming together with. You may have someone who's going to reach out. I just want to go with the flow here. You may go with this. I do see a coming together. Wow. This could be friendship, family, getting together with people. It could be someplace out in your community. Uh, but I do see two people at the end of this. <laughs> you may end something with another person, possibly. If things aren't moving. Okay, there could be a lack of reciprocity with someone, but I do see two people here. Let's see what's happening. Aries. What does Aries need to know? About this overall energy surrounding them. What does Aries need to know? Clarity, please, for Aries. Yeah, so I do see a release and a healing. There's some kind of change, transformation after a healing period. So something is starting to move. Lovely. You may be just taking a little bit of a break. Okay, releasing negativity. So I do see the change. I see that beautiful butterfly. Look at that. Yeah, see the woodard here. So this could be yourself. You know exactly what you want. You may be going for it, but this could be a person here. Uh, now, sometimes this is someone who kind of wants things their way. You know, someone is very determined. This is someone who doesn't budge. Once they focus on something, they don't change their mind. <laughs> okay, yeah. So yeah, so I do see someone soul searching here. Could be yourself kind of doing a little soul searching about your path in life. But I see a hooded man here. I do see possible Virgo. I see someone looking for um, communication, looking for answers within themselves. And it has to do with something that needs to be released. There's some kind of change. It's about going with the flow. Okay, so someone here, to have something to do with their path in life. Could be a little bit of a spiritual journey uh, in healing. I do see the ace of bows. Someone may be looking to see if you healed. But I'm going to tell you, if you have a person here who kind of wanted everything their way, uh, refused to budge, refused to give in, I feel as though you're going to move on. I do, because I see this energy. This could be someone who's reaching out to other people too. Uh, but I feel like you've got support of friends and family. So I do see this uh, passionate new beginning. So I see room for growth. There's some kind of room for growth here to do with this passionate new beginning. Yeah, it's a little spark of life. Oh, yeah. You know what you want and you're not settling. You know, it's an energy of focusing on the things that you want, I feel. You may be creating something new, working on something new. You may be reaching out to other people. You may be wanting to partner up with something creative. But you can see here, yeah, you're... <laughs> You're not putting up with anything here. I can see it. You know what you want and you're not settling. Okay? I can see it. You're focused on other things. You're just kind of doing you here. Yeah. Creative pursuits. Some kind of idea here. That spark of life. So someone who may find you attractive. Okay? Or vice versa. Well, I do see someone reaching out. Yeah, so I do see a little bit of a journey. So I do see someone on a spiritual journey here. And I got to tell you, I feel like you're just kind of doing your own thing. I do feel like you're more focused on um, things that you're really passionate about right now. Yeah, because I don't think you're about to settle for anyone who wants everything their way. And in fact, I feel like you've kind of put your foot down here. But I see the journey. So this is an energy of someone who's on a journey, soul searching. Okay, could be you, but it could be this other person. I definitely see uh, another person's energy here. Someone's on that journey. It has to do with fears, doing shadow work. You can see here we have a crow uh, picking the bones clean here. 
<laughs> someone's soul searching their path in life this is the person who may be reaching out here but yeah so i do see something very sudden yeah i do see that spiritual journey someone's on a journey here they're having some kind of an aha moment and i feel what this is is that sudden realization this is a energy of trusting your intuition ancestors this could be a mentor this could be the uh, the third person here somebody mentoring someone uh, i do think something is finished uh, the tower has happened here some of you may be ending something or you're having uh, someone's telling you or this person you know it's a spiritual guidance could be uh, a counselor just a you know a very close friend somebody very wise uh, or messages from spirit saying it's time to end a situation something is it's finished the tower is coming down okay has to do with someone's path in life that journey and I do see this person soul searching up here. You're not going to settle. I don't. I think you're just focused on the things you're passionate about. Creative pursuits, things like that. You're off on another uh, journey. You've got something else going on here. So I do see the Wheel of Fortune. I see a cycle ending and a new cycle beginning. So yeah, I see you ending a cycle realizing it's time to put an end to something. But whatever you're focused on, this spark of life, okay? Uh, this could be your intuition as well telling you. So stay focused focused on the things that you're passionate about don't be afraid to stand up for yourself i see you coming together with someone you may have someone who you know was telling you to end a cycle or telling somebody else it is an energy of someone who wants things to go their way they want everything to go in their favor uh, but you're not you're not putting up with it no no i see a cycle coming to a close here things are going to go in your favor though because i see you being very focused driven i see creative pursuits oh yeah Something is going to happen suddenly here. And actually, there's going to be a shift where things start to go in your favor. Yeah, so I do see this energy. This could be yourself here. You've had a tough time in love. I feel like you've healed and you've released. Somebody may be looking to see if you've healed or you've let go of something. Okay, you may have a person who's thinking about reaching out. Uh, but I actually feel here, you know, I think some of you are more focused on other things than your love life. I feel like you're kind of taking a break from dating, relationships in general, and just letting yourself heal. Some of you are ready for a rest, uh, maybe a little bit of a vacation, but I see a bit of a time out here or just taking time for yourself. Yeah, so there's an energy of someone. See, you've got someone who's soul searching, failing to recognize. Someone seeing within themselves, failing to recognize, unable to make a decision. And I actually feel there's something here uh, with this person someone who wants everything their way okay their way or the highway yeah tell me about this hooded man this is somebody who sometimes hides behind their feelings introverted spends a lot of time alone yeah so there's an ending something very painful i feel like it's over a painful period in your life things are starting to move starting to flow yeah see there's a cycle over things are going in your favor so you're getting off an emotional roller coaster, probably some of you too. But, you know, I do see this energy of someone who failed to see. Someone was unable to make a decision. Um, and it could be too where you failed to recognize that there was someone here who wanted everything their way. Uh, so I do feel there's the, you know, some kind of an ending. Something that's over, it's finished. I see three solid clues of this here yeah so someone who wants everything their way they don't want to go with the flow they're not willing to cooperate or compromise this is someone who's probably failed to recognize that but i i feel as though you're just kind of taking a pause here i think you're just doing doing you yeah so i do see some kind of movement some of you may be thinking of moving relocating starting something new but it's about things starting to move in your life getting out meeting new people okay uh, people are reaching out to you I see you coming together. Oh, yeah. So I do see working. Yeah, something creative, something with your home. You may be moving or relocating and very focused on that. Uh, I see some of you definitely working on your financial foundation. So was, there's definitely a reason to celebrate here. You're at the end of a long journey. I feel like something is happening really positive. Really positive for you here. It's the end of a journey okay so this could be a goal or an aspiration something that you started okay is bringing you a strong financial foundation 
I see movement in your life, things moving along at a nice pace, just kind of going with the flow. Yeah, there you are. Yeah, some of you are single, enjoying the fruits of your labors, uh, making plans for the future. You're taking care of yourself. I see that. Yeah, you're at the end of a journey here. I actually feel like you have someone here, someone who might be looking to see if you're single, maybe checking you out. Uh, but this, like I say, this could be your journey, you know. Um, you're about to make some kind of a decision. It's going to go in your favor. Tell me about reach out. Why is this here? I think there's someone who's going to reach out here. Yeah, so I do see something new, someone reaching out, maybe a new person. You've got someone here who's looking for clarity, looking for clues, looking to see if you're single. Now, it could be someone you've ended things with, okay, or someone maybe looking to see if you've started something new or if you're single. I feel like you're enjoying your single life. I feel like you're on a little bit of a journey. You're making plans for the future, enjoying the fruits of your labors, maybe thinking of traveling, taking a vacation, going someplace sunny. Okay, I see new. I see this beautiful happiness, a reason to celebrate. Tell me about the blasted oak. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, so you know what I feel here? It's like an energy of, you're just, I feel like you're just doing you, okay? Taking care of you. And uh, I feel like if you have somebody that reaches out and starts something, it could end just as fast as it starts. Because I actually feel like there's someone who needs to end something. And it has to do with the decision. Someone's failing to recognize something within themselves. Okay? And I feel like it's this hooded man energy. No, it could be anyone. I see a Virgo energy. I see a Leo energy. Leo, Sagittarius. I see some Pisces and Cancer energy. This is something emotional. So I do feel there's an end of something, an end of fear, uh, confusion. Things are becoming clear. So I feel like there's an energy of uh, spiritual guidance, the end of a spiritual journey. Someone's guiding somebody here to express themselves. Um, but this is someone who needs to uh, end something first before they start something new. I see the Ancestor. Yeah, so you got someone here who's feeling guided by spirit. Someone's being mentored. They're being uh, guided by someone. I feel like you got a person who may be coming in to apologize. They may reach out. This is someone who wants things to go in their favor. But I actually feel uh, what's going to happen here is this is someone coming in with, in a, from a place of fear and confusion. Okay, some of you could have a little bit of a secret admirer. They may all of a sudden decide to reach out and say something. Could be an apology for something. Um, but I got I see three people here, and I do see the ancestor, the spiritual journey. Someone's being guided to reach out. Okay, but I got to tell you, uh, sometimes with this nine of pentacles, I see someone reaching out. Okay, uh, reaching out to get something. And it's, a, it's, it's an energy of peace, okay, I can see a dove, but it's also something to do with communication. Uh, it's also, I feel, it's an energy, of, you know, somebody reaches out to you, and then it's an energy of someone pulling the rug out from under you with the blasted oak. So there's this sense of impending doom, but I got to tell you, things are going to be okay, okay? I see two people coming together. So this could be someone who there's some kind of get together, something in uh, some kind of an event, something that someone's inviting you to by the looks of it. It may be something separate. We'll see. Yeah. Then we have this card here. So, yeah, this is an energy of someone making peace. So it's an energy of movement, travel. You may get an invitation uh, to go someplace, but I see an energy of moving away to avoid a disaster. You're having some kind of an epiphany because I do feel it's an energy of reaching out, someone reaching out, then you go to, you go for it, and then the rug gets pulled out from under you, okay? So that's that sense of impending doom, but don't worry, okay? I don't know if this is yourself. It feels like this other person. So I can see that wheel, yeah. So I do feel like you're moving towards something better. Oh, yeah. You're focused on money, career, finances, or something you may not be comfortable with. So I do see travel. I see you taking lessons you learned from the past. You're grounding yourself. You're focused on money. So you're more focused on money, career, creative pursuits than you are in your love life right now. Because uh, I feel as it's an energy of when somebody reaches out and wants to start something, you look at it. It's going to start and end just as fast. Because you have someone who's apprehensive. You see someone who's a little apprehensive, maybe a little shy. It could be someone at a distance. I mean, some of you may have someone who, 
you know, we are in Mercury retrograde. Someone may be thinking about you. It could be someone at a distance wanting to travel, you know. But I feel there's that little bit of confusion, mystery, illusion with the moon. I see Cancer Pisces energy. Something here with that, though. I see you not so comfortable with something. I think things are starting to go in your favor. You're kind of in a happy place right now. And I feel like you kind of don't want to mess things up. Something that you've been focused on. So let's see what this coming together is. Yeah, it looks like you got a couple people here. There could be a get together of some sort. Yeah, you have someone who wants to reach out and talk to you. Yeah, you've got a person here. But what you have is someone here who I feel is kind of all about themselves. Here for a good time, not a long time. And I think you know, if something starts, it may not go anywhere. It may end. So that's that fear of something ending. And I feel as though it's an energy of moving away to avoid a disaster. You've learned. You're taking the lessons you've learned here. And I feel like you have this person who's kind of looking at the details. It's someone who reaches out. They kind of, you know, don't really have a whole lot to say. They just kind of reach out. Someone is looking to see if you're with someone else, if you're single. But I feel like you're just focused on finance and career. I feel like you're just grounding yourself and things are going in your favor and you, you kind of want it to stay that way. Uh, but yeah, you have a person who's soul searching. This is their path. This is someone's path in life. They're looking for clues and answers within. This is an energy of someone who doesn't really stick around. You know, it's like that's, that's that sense where you, I feel like you just know. Okay. Some of you might have a couple people reaching out. I do see three. One of them could be just a get-together. There could be some kind of an event and you may get an invitation. There could be travel or something here. Somebody may be going, hey, you know, uh, what are you up to? Do you want to go here? Do you want to go there? You know, it could require some travel. But it looks to me like someone coming in to make peace. Possibly an apology making peace here. But it's an energy of moving forward calmly and peacefully here. I feel like it's an energy where I feel like you're, I don't know if this is actually, because I feel like things are going well for you and I feel like you don't want to mess it up. It's like that sense of impending doom that if you go for it, you know, this person's not going to stick around because I feel like you've got that energy around you of someone who is kind of immature. They don't really know what they want. They're indecisive, you know, but yet they want everything their way. They want everything to go in their favor. It's not going to go in their favor if somebody comes in that way here for a good time, not a long time, very focused on themselves, focused on that wand. Okay. Yeah, it's that physical connection kind of energy where they're very focused on it. But this is someone that's all about them. You know, it's me, me, me. It's all about me. And I feel as though that's something you're not really into. But I do see someone feeling a little enthusiastic at the same time here. So just take it how it resonates. But I do see someone reaching out. Now, it could be a little shy or apprehensive. Someone planning to communicate, hoping something is successful. But I'm going to tell you, it's not going to be successful if this person comes in with that apprehension or they come in and communicate in a place of fear, if there's any kind of uh, anything hidden, any kind of anything that's mysterious, because I feel like that's where you're trusting your intuition as the moon energy is also intuition. OK, now, things are shifting in your favor. I feel like you're in a happy place. You know, you're you want emotional fulfillment. I feel like you're just things are going well for a lot of you. And I feel if they haven't been, they're certainly going to be possible new jobs, careers, creating something new, uh, buying a new home, maybe a vehicle. Uh, and I see movement. So, yeah, there's a spark of life. I actually feel like you're really enthusiastic about something. I think you're more focused on other things because I see you taking a break from love and releasing. I feel like you've gone through a lot of change. Okay. Yeah. Tell me about that wheel of fortune up there by the flow. See, that's where you push the stop button to something. If someone's indecisive and they don't know what they want, it's sort of like you decide to just end it. Okay. Someone here has failed to recognize that it's the energy within themselves failing to recognize that they wanted everything their way. And it could be because somebody was indecisive. You may have failed to recognize something here too. But I actually feel here, it's an energy of taking off the rose-colored glasses, healing and taking a break after a, a period of a rest here. So I do see the change. You've gone through some transformation. So, yeah, I can definitely see you uh, in work mode here, creative mode. 
Some of you are definitely doing something to do with design, something very creative, uh, or something to do with a home. Um, but I see a celebration. I see you going someplace by yourself, people reaching out. I see you going alone, maybe even traveling someplace by yourself. Some of you might even be thinking of taking a vacation yourself. If you do, it's possible you could meet someone. Okay. Very interesting. Tell me about that Wheel of Fortune. Oops, that one wanted to come out. Yeah, so this is an energy of breaking a cycle, no longer repeating mistakes of the past. So it's an energy of breaking free, ending something. Beautiful. Tell me about the sun. There we go. Yeah, so you're manifesting something new. There you are. You're off on a new path. So I feel it's a you know, very high vibrational, very positive energy, I feel. I see something creative working in a team setting, but it's about a new path. It's about cooperation and compromise and compatibility. You're manifesting something uh, creative or somebody compatible. It's having all the tools, the information. You're mastering the elements here. You're the master of your own domain, too. I can see that. Yeah, so it has to do with justice and balance. You may have been someone who didn't treat you right. There may have been some kind of manipulation. So whatever it is you're doing here, I feel like you're just going to be really sensible. Really, really sensible. But I see, you know, money going your favor, happiness, things going well. Uh, I see an old cycle ending. I feel as though you're just kind of, you know, moving on. Some of you, like I say, you could be relocating. You may have someone who reaches out and asking you if you've relocated. Okay, it could be just friends reaching out. You may have people talking to you. Uh, but I see this energy of marriage commitment maybe contracts negotiation i see justice and things going in your favor i see you doing things just right you're doing what's right for you uh, so i feel like you want someone who's right for you you may go and come into the realization that there's somebody who's not right for you and that's where i feel this is energy of moving away from something but I do see relocation and movement. I see contracts, negotiations, jobs. I also see some of you moving towards, you know, a committed energy. But it's about two people being on the same page, the same path. Uh, two people negotiating and talking about something creative. It's an energy of building, okay? Creating something together. Building upon um, that spark, that initial idea. Wow. Yeah, very nice energy. Tell me about this Prince of Wands. Yeah, so trust your intuition. You already know everything you need to know, okay? That's your inner knowing, your inner wisdom telling you to ground yourself and be sensible. Uh, I feel as an energy of someone coming in. I feel like you know who this may be, or in fact, you may have a couple people. But I feel like it's telling you to just trust your intuition. I know it's telling you if something doesn't feel right, Okay, doesn't make you feel comfortable, then you're going to move away to avoid a disaster. Okay, you're enjoying the fruits of your labors. I see you being comfortable, having a comfortable home, uh, feeling pretty good about things in general. I feel like you're fulfilling your own emotional needs here in a lot of ways, at least for now. But I do see the possibility of a new. Okay, so very nice. Yeah, it's an energy of walking away. It's an energy of knowing when to walk away. Okay. Um, Moving, leaving something behind, something that doesn't fulfill you, you see. It's an energy of emotional fulfillment. So it's also an energy of someone who may have let you walk away. So, but yeah. It's an energy of that soulmate connection. There it is, two people coming together, a soulmate connection. Yeah, you want someone compatible. I feel like you just want that emotional fulfillment. If you, you know, you don't get what you want, it's not emotionally fulfilling, you're going to be realistic about it and just walk away. Yeah, you're not going to be holding on to any baggage or anything here, I feel. But I do see a communication coming in, some kind of offer. Yeah, you know what you want, you're not settling. You're staying focused, you're driven. Uh, those are your creative pursuits at hard work. You aren't afraid to stand up for yourself either. You know, you'll just walk away and change your focus. You're focused on other things. You're not focused on, uh, I feel a lot of you anyway, not focused on love. Those of you who are focused on love, uh, I feel like it's telling you to end some kind of a cycle and just kind of go with the flow a little bit, okay? Just wait for things to start flowing. Uh, make sure you've healed that the situation is over. Painful period in your life is finished. Very nice. Trust your intuition, you know. Yeah, I think you have a, 
uh, you know, there's something here with someone here. That's also, I see a Pisces energy, uh, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Aries, Leo, Sag. But this is a person who's here for a good time. They don't always stick around. And I do see that soul searching. And it's somebody here, something to do with someone within themselves. This isn't an energy. Um, I feel like you're not taking this upon yourself, whatever it is. Uh, you just know. Okay, I see secrets, trusting your intuition. Anyone who comes in, they can, you know, keeping secrets. Some of you could have a secret admirer too, it's possible. That could come in suddenly and reveal something. But I think you already know something, all right? Yeah, but I do see coming together. Could be just friends or family getting together. Uh, but I do see the possibility. You know what you want. You're not settling. You want that soulmate connection. You know, you want someone who uh, fits in your life, who wants to build, somebody possibly creative. Uh, I feel as though you're kind of just doing your own thing. I, it's all over this reading through a healing, a break. Some of you are due for a break and a vacation. <laughs> you may have someone who reaches out and says, hey, do you want to uh, go someplace for the weekend? Okay, do you want to take off somewhere? It's quite possible. You might. So you've been working hard. You definitely deserve a break here. There's no doubt about it. So just trust your intuition, okay? It's going to guide you. Yeah. I feel like you know. You already know the answers within yourself. This could be something that's not long-term uh, for some of you. But I do feel it's telling you to soul search this, to kind of think about it a little bit, okay? You may decide to walk away from something. If you have someone who reaches out, you may decide to walk away. But I actually feel you're moving towards a soulmate connection. I think you're just kind of going with the flow. I think you're just sort of going with it here, you know. Um, yeah, it's really, I feel like you're just so grounded. Really nice energy, Aries. So whatever you're doing, go ahead and comment away. I see something new, and I see it's something you've manifested. Okay, so it's a beautiful energy regardless. Stay in that energy. <laughs> That's really, really nice. Take care, and we'll see you soon.